Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Megan, if you are new, welcome. So today's tutorial is on how to create a flawless looking base if you guys have acne or blemishes or pimples, whatever it may be on your skin, I go super in depth on how to create really flawless looking skin, hide those breakouts, those blemishes, even if they're really aggravated and pussy and disgusting, I show you how to cover those up. So I use all drugstore products, so if you guys are like me and don't have a lot of money to spend at the moment, then this tutorial is just for you, honey. Otherwise, if you guys are ready to get started, get all your makeup goodies out, because we are going to get to it. Hey guys, so I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys for showing me so much love and support in my previous video, the how I cover up my acne and breakouts video. You guys were so supportive and loving and like the comments just literally filled my heart with so much love. I just want to give a big thank you to all of you and I decided because it was such a you know really successful video, you guys loved it. I got so much great feedback from it. I thought I'd do a more in-depth tutorial and a more like full coverage way of covering up my acne and how I do it for special occasions or if I'm going out clubbing if I want a really flawless base I want to cover up all these nasty things on my face I was like oh I'll do a more in-depth tutorial for you guys so <laughs> that's what we're doing today <laughs> I tried to pick a pimple here and I like a breakout and it wasn't ready and now it just really hurts <sighs> but we're here to cover these up so let's get to it so what I want to stress to you guys is to make sure that you want to look after your skin and like look after your body. So it's not about just covering them up. It's about, you know, what we're putting into our body is also going to reflect what's showing on our bodies. Eating well, lots of green vegetables with collagen and lots of vitamins and things like that that really help boost our skin and make it look as good and as healthy as we possibly can. I also recommend drinking lots and lots and lots of water. What's really helped clear up my skin from what it was before and oh my god was it a hell hole before. Like it was so bad. It's cleared up so well so I'm really happy with how it's going. I do recommend just drinking lots and lots and lots and again lots of water throughout the day. At least eight glasses full just so that you're flushing out all the toxins and things that your body's constantly fighting off. And water is just so tasty. I mean, like, why not drink more? But you always feel good once you're really hydrated. So because breakouts and things can tend to be really drying and they can start to get crusty and flaky, you don't want your makeup to be sitting on top of something so dry because it's just going to cake up in those spots or, like, cling to the dry patches. So I always recommend at least half an hour before applying your makeup to like moisturize it. You guys probably have your own moisturizers at home. I'm going to recommend the ones that I use. They are 100% natural. They are incredible. I'll link the site down below. But I use a nourishing oil. So these are basically essential oils. So they're 100% natural. There's no chemicals, fragrances, whatever nasty you usually have in some moisturizers and things you don't want to be putting that onto your face because the chemicals are going to soak into your skin and enter your bloodstream and be pumped around your body and you don't want chemicals in your system so i always recommend using 100 percent natural products so i'm using this Puda Healing Nourish and Repair Facial Oil. These are homemade. They're made in the Blue Mountains in Australia. But you guys can access them, I think, on their site. Otherwise, try and look for local and like locally made skincare brands because the locals will be doing it handmade. They'll be doing it naturally. It's a lot of natural products, not a lot of chemicals that a lot of the big brands will have. So they're cruelty-free and 100% naturally derived ingredients. So basically what I do is I just apply like a couple drops of these nourishing oils just on my face on either side. So I'll do a couple drops on either side and then just rub it in, making sure I have clean hands. But you only need a couple because a little bit goes a long way. I just rub it into the affected areas of my skin. I always like to bring it all around my face and a bit down my neck just because I feel like it's really good for your skin. And I had a lot of trouble before on my neck as well like my acne just grew like all the way down my neck grew it like moved all the way down my neck as well so I wanted to like really like try and heal it up and it's healed up so well I'm so happy with it but yeah next thing so the next thing I use after I've placed the nourishing drops onto my skin and rubbed it in is I go in with this Buddha healing hydrating face and body cream it is so, so hydrating. I can't express to you how good it feels sitting on your skin. It is so cooling, but it just... When I had my breakouts, they were like... 
painful. They would be like a burning sensation because of the pressure of them. So having this cream just really, really helped. It just felt so, so like moisturizing and nourishing. And I knew it was 100% you know, natural products. There was no nasties in there. This was my ride or die and still is. It's so, so good. And the great thing about these two products is that they won the Beauty Shortlist Awards in 2017. So they're really, really good. I know that they're really high end products. And they're actually not too expensive, they're not too bad. So moving on, I've already applied them half an hour before, like I said, just to help them soak into the skin and get their thing going. So next is for primer. Now you guys can feel free to just use the moisturizers as your base. You don't have to put a primer on top if your skin is still feeling quite tacky. You just need something to help them um, the, uh, blah, 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 to help the foundation stick to. So a moisturizer will help you do that if you don't want to apply any chemicals onto your face. But I'm just trying to show you guys the best way to help a long, like help create a long-lasting base and like a flawless looking face if you do have acne like I do. Now again, because I had really dry skin, you guys can probably go in with any primer that you would like. I'm going in with this Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's good for sensitive skin, which <laughs> is me. So I apply this to my whole face to really moisturize and help create a nice primed tacky base for the products that I'm going to be applying on top. And you want your foundation to just sit as smoothly and as like evenly placed as possible and having a good primer or a moisturized base is going to do that. So you guys, I would prefer to use like more like natural products, but because I want to show you guys like a really, you know, great way of keeping your makeup on all day, I am going to use what I have and I want to move along towards more like natural makeup kind of um, brand so I want to try and bring those onto my channel and show you guys that you can have flawless looking makeup with natural products that are better for your skin so I'm going to try and move towards that but I can only work with what I've got in my bank account and coming back from America I have nothing there's nothing left so I'll just try and pick different products here and there from different makeup sites that I feel are like more natural even if they're not 100% natural they're just more healthier makeup then I'll be bringing that onto my channel. Okay, darling? Okay. Just in case you guys weren't aware, it's gonna be quite a chatty tutorial, so get ready for some chit-chatting. But yes, keep drinking a lot of water, guys. That's how we flush out these toxins and get flawless looking skin. So because I have really aggravated like breakouts on my face today, I'm going to be going in with a color corrector. You guys can feel free to skip this step if you only have a few breakouts and things like that. I'm sure you can cover up with like concealer, but girl, do you see this? Do you see this? This needs extra coverage today. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and it's in the green tone one. The green one is great for redness, so for breakouts, for acne, the green one is is the one to go for. So I'm going to start by applying this over the really aggravated spots just with my finger to begin with. So grab your nice clean finger and start applying. Oh yeah. So I just feel like the heat from my finger is just the best way like I find it applicating this because it helps the product mesh into the skin like rather than just using a brush straight off the bat. So now that you've got, you know, your little chicken pox looking face going on, let's move on to the blending part. So next you're going to want to grab a little brush and what you're going to want to do is just use the edges of the brush to start blending out the edges of this like corrector so it fades into the skin and it's not so harsh. Don't, don't buff out any of the coverage on top of the actual blemish. Because you're just going to take that coverage away. So I've blended out all the edges as you can see here. It still looks pretty pigmented but that's okay because we're going to go in with foundation on top. And nobody will ever know that you have intense breakouts, intense acne going on underneath all of this. And we won't look like the Grinch anymore. <laughs> so like I was saying before, I do prefer to use more natural products. But in my previous tutorial, I showed you what it looked like using my 100% pure natural makeup foundation. Like it's a more on the natural side. But today I want to do the heavy duty kind of full coverage makeup tutorial to really help cover all of those acne breakouts and things like that. So I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. This stuff has stuck with me through the really hard times of those really horrible days when like 
your skin is just breaking out so much and you think how will anything ever cover it up I've always found my Revlon foundation to be amazing at that it's a great drugstore foundation so for all of you guys like me who are on a budget with makeup and don't have a lot of money to spend the Revlon one is really really good the Maybelline Fit Me foundation is also really good I just don't use it because my skin for some reason just reacts really really badly to it but the Revlon one has always been really good. My skin doesn't react to it. So applying the foundation is a bit more on the trickier side when we've just done all the color correcting because you don't want to take that coverage away. So what I like to do is I grab my beauty blender and a bit of the product from the back of my hand. I just grab it on the tip of the beauty blender and I just smack it on like so. Right? And it's really thick at the moment, but we're going to blend it out later. I just want to pack on the coverage over the top of the green parts first. And we can blend it out over the rest of the face afterwards. So the reason we colour correct is because it stops that greyness looking tinge under the skin when you try and apply foundation over the top of a breakout. You can kind of get that kind of greyness, look, like grey looking kind of spots on your face from having the foundation just sitting on, on, top, on top of those breakouts. So I find colour correcting really creates that full coverage very flawless looking finish you don't get those gray spots or anything sitting underneath the skin and all I'm doing now is just blending out that product just the edges of it using light tapping motions to try not to disturb what's underneath so you're pouncing it you're not swiping and you can just go for your life over the non green areas so like blend away blend to your heart's content so if you do still have a few of these green spots peeking through on the skin, don't worry about it. We will fix that up with the next step. So next we're going to go in with concealer and I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Total Coverage Concealer in the shade 106. I do recommend using the Becca Luminous Concealer though because that one's more hydrating and it's still a full coverage concealer. The one that I usually use is the e.l.f. Perfect Blend Concealer, but that one's not as full coverage as I would like for these more, you know, blemish looking, you know, really aggravated acne ones. But I do recommend using the Becca one because it is still quite a moisturizing concealer, whereas this one is still full coverage, but it's a bit more drying. And I'm just going to conceal under the eyes with this same concealer. And I'm going to highlight the center of the face as well. Because it is quite a light concealer. I don't want to have it just focused under the eyes. I want to highlight the face of it as well. So what I like to do is I just blend in the concealer under my eyes and center of the face with a beauty sponge. I then blend in the concealer on my blemishes with the same brush that I use to buff out the edges of that color corrector. But I make sure to wipe it off so there's none of the excess product on there. So I do the same trick as I do before. I just buff out the edges with the sides of the bristles just to kind of help them blend into the skin and look more natural. So once you've blended the edges of that concealer in and kept that coverage on top of those breakouts, we're going to move on in powder. So the powder that I'm going in today with is the Glips Blur Powder in the shade 21. And I like to use this powder just on the places that I've concealed, so the center of my face, underneath my eyes. And I do a light, and I mean a very very light dusting on anywhere else that I feel like I need to place it down to help it lock in that product. I try not to place any powder on my blemishes if I can help it because I don't want to make them more dry and flaky or cakey looking. So I'm going to avoid the breakout areas and just powder the places that I want to, you know, help lock that makeup in place. And then I'm going to go straight away and set my face in place to help rehydrate it and lock that product in so it won't cake up, it won't flake, it won't cling to any dry patches. Mmm, that smells so good. And I just sprayed a little bit extra on the places that I needed it, like my blemish areas, to really hydrate those and really stick that product in place. I don't know what that was, like a bird head. <laughs> and there we go, we have our flawless looking base. So I just went ahead and did my brows, but this is basically what you should have so far, guys. A nice, really flawless, even looking base. There's no blemishes poking through. It's really full coverage, but it also looks really natural on the skin because we haven't done such a thick layer of foundation 
on the other areas where there isn't any breakouts. It's only just done the little bits of, you know, the different steps on the breakout areas. So everything else should look more natural and, you know, on the, on the natural side, but still really flawless and really full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup so you guys can see the base with everything else on top. And I'll be right back. So I'm back with the finished makeup look. I just did like a monochromatic peachy makeup look. I'll make sure to link the look down below in the description bar if I've posted it up already. But if you guys can see, the look is still super flawless. My breakouts are still super covered up. You cannot see them. They look my just my whole base is just looking really flawless. I'm loving this makeup look right now. Like these lashes, guys, like I am obsessed. These are the Sultry Lashes from Anitude. Oh my god, her makeup looks and her lashes are just... I've never had lashes like these. These are absolutely insane. Ooh, that's better lighting right now. Okay, I'll quickly sum up so you go. And there it goes. Oh, we had nice lighting for a little bit. Basically, when you're highlighting... This is the last tip for you guys today that I'll be rambling on about. When you're highlighting, make sure that you're not going to highlight over your breakouts. Because all that work we did trying to conceal them... Ooh... I hope that's not too bright. Oh well. Because all that work we did trying to conceal them up is just going to be emphasised. Those breakouts are going to really show up on your skin because that highlight is going to cling to them and it's just going to really emphasise those breakouts and the acne. So if you are going to highlight, highlight around the breakouts if they're on your high points of your face or like don't highlight at all. I didn't highlight my chin because <laughs> that's where my trouble areas is. And when I highlighted my cupid's bow, I made sure to really just sneak past this aggravated breakout right there as well. So, otherwise, this is the finished look, guys. I hope you got a lot out of today's tutorial on how to cover up your really troubled acne spots or breakouts or things like that. It was a super in-depth tutorial. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. I hope I was clear enough on my step-by-step -step explanations. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel because I'd love to see you in my next tutorial. Have an awesome day, guys, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Mwah! I love you guys so much. Bye.